Wait, what's your name? Naima. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Okay, can I just ask, um, at how many weeks do you think that a fetus is viable? Well, viability and moral worth are two different things. No, but I'm asking you, at how many weeks well, do you think a fetus is viable? Well, at about 20 weeks, a baby can survive outside of utero. So it's actually 24 to 26 weeks? Well, it's weeks? 20. The youngest ever in a NICU unit actually happened in San Diego, not far from here, and was survived, survived at 20 weeks. Okay, so under Roe v. Wade, 93% of abortions happened in the first 13 weeks of pregnancy. That's 93% of the abortions happened well before a fetus is technically viable for, for as sure. a form so of let, life. So let's go into viability. So what is it about, let's say, a six-week baby that has a heartbeat, its own DNA, fingerprint, brain waves, that is less moral worth than an 88-year-old right now with dementia in a home down the street? That person requires assistance, requires help. What, what, why is it that the six-week baby is of less moral worth? Well, first of all, it's not a baby, it's a fetus. Well, what does fetus mean? A fetus is in utero. What does fetus mean in Latin? What the f I'm sorry, is this it a it means, language It means little human being. But let's go back so, to, so, we're losing track here. No, but, but is, what, what species is the fetus? The fetus is not a species yet. It's technically classified no, no, as a parasite no, no, no. until oh, it is oh, wow. viable. So, no, I want to well, talk to you about something I, very I, quickly. I can't let you get past that. Are you saying, you're saying a baby is a disease or a tumor? A parasite is not a disease and a tumor. Those are not the same thing. A, a parasite parasites. is defined as something that cannot survive outside of its host. A baby, before it is viable, cannot survive outside of a woman's womb. Got it. So let's, extra Therefore, let's extrapolate that. It are, is not a living organism. Are, are, are old people with Alzheimer's and dementia that are being assisted every day, are they parasites? No, they're not parasites. They're human beings who are on the brink of death. Got it. So my six, they're not going to be my four-month-old that requires mom's breast milk and requires daily changes and feedings cannot survive without its own. Is my four-month-old a parasite? Your baby can breathe on its own. Your baby can drink water from its mouth to its stomach. But but it can. Your baby can, can, can eat can food. Hunt? Can it gather? Can it reason? But that's not what qualifies something oh, as being okay. a living so let's, organism. Let, let, being let's a get living back organism terms. simply means can you survive? outside of a womb, outside but, of your host. Got it, so I just wanna make sure I'm clear. Why does that then equate to moral viability? It equates to scientific viability. Why, under what standard? Because it is not alive, and you oh, are advocating for the rights of something that is not technically a life. Got it, so what is, is something While that has sacrificing a, the needs of the human woman who is alive. Got it, so but a, a, a mom can survive Yes. Without the baby in her. Uh-huh. Right? Yes. The baby cannot survive without the mom. Yes. But a mom cannot survive without her lungs. So it's not her body, it's in her body. It's not yeah, her DNA, so it's not her choice. So it's a- It actually is directly her DNA. It is 100%, it's 50% of her DNA. Half her DNA.